In this video, you'll see how to use Amazon CloudWatch log pattern analysis and anomaly detection. With these features, you can leverage machine learning to surface anomalous patterns in a vast number of logs, identify changes over time, and automatically discover previously unknown error conditions. This is CloudWatch Log Insights, where we can investigate our log data when we've been notified of an issue with our application. To get started, let's run a sample query. We'll select the application's log group. Let's remove this limit and run the query. There are thousands of log results from the last hour alone. There's valuable information here, but it can be difficult to parse the text at scale and identify problems. To understand what went wrong, users typically start running queries with different word combinations and commands. In response to this challenge, CloudWatch now provides automatic pattern analysis of log results. Using machine learning, the feature analyzes log events for common or repeating text structures and identifies patterns. For example, the repeating text, Testing Unicode Compatibility, will be identified as a pattern. Let's open the Patterns tab. Whenever a Logs Insights query is run, the identified patterns appear here. In this case, out of thousands of individual log events, we have 26 patterns. The first pattern is the Testing Unicode Compatibility text we just saw. Within the pattern, asterisks indicate tokens, which are dynamic or variable components, such as timestamps within the log events. We're also provided with the event count for that pattern during the query period, the percentage of all event results associated with that pattern, and the severity type. With fewer results to sift through, we can quickly look for keywords such as error without having to modify or write a query. To learn more about a pattern, we can open the Pattern Inspect view. A histogram shows when log events matching this pattern occurred. We can review examples of the raw log events that contributed to this pattern. For instance, these samples show the details of failed request processing attempts. The next tab shows the actual token values. In this pattern, the first token is a timestamp. The second token is a request ID. The pattern string includes the text connection exception. To learn more, we can look at related patterns. Related patterns are ones that occurred at or around the same time as the pattern we're currently analyzing. In our scenario, one of the related pattern strings says, connection failed due to a network timeout. This provides context for the connection exceptions. To investigate further, we can query only the logs that fit that pattern. We'll select the pattern and click Add to Query. Let's run the query. Now we have a more specific set of logs to analyze. Next, let's see how we can use pattern analysis to learn what has changed in our logs over time. When an application starts behaving differently, knowing what has changed can help us identify the root cause of the issue. To find out what changed, we'll click Compare. We can compare the selected one-hour time period to the previous one-hour period or to the same relative time period on the previous day, week, or month. Let's compare with the previous day. Let's run the query. The results not only show the patterns in our logs, but also how those patterns have changed over time. At a glance, we can see new patterns, including a new error. These are strong indicators of the root cause of the application issue. In addition, the event count difference column shows whether a pattern has increased or decreased. Now let's navigate to our log groups and look at another machine learning feature, CloudWatch Logs Anomaly Detection. Anomaly detection uses machine learning to automatically monitor for unusual changes in your logs. It does this by training a model on the expected patterns and values within a log group, and then flagging significant changes as they occur. Let's set up anomaly detection for this log group. 
We'll select the Anomaly Detection tab and open the configuration settings. For most use cases, 5 minutes is a good evaluation frequency. Filter patterns are optional and can be used to process only specific log events for anomaly detection. For example, we can perform anomaly detection only on error-related logs. Advanced configuration is also optional. Here we can set how long an anomaly will be visible before being baselined. As soon as we activate anomaly detection, the machine learning model begins training on the log data coming into this application to create a baseline. After that, any unusual behavior in this log group will be surfaced as an anomaly. Let's activate the feature. We can see that training has already begun. Let's go to the Log Anomalies page. The first column provides a description of the anomaly. Next, we see the log pattern associated with the anomaly. In the next column, we see a priority level, which is determined by the volume of occurrences or volume of logs associated with the anomaly's change. We can filter the view by priority level as well. The anomaly log trend is depicted in a histogram. We also see the last and first detection times. To learn more about an anomaly, we can inspect its pattern. We can also view an anomaly in Logs Insights to see the underlying data. Furthermore, for our most critical applications, we can configure a CloudWatch alarm on an anomaly. You've just seen how to use Amazon CloudWatch Pattern Analysis and Log Anomaly Detection. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.